Good morning. Uh, so yesterday um, I started working on Snippet Pixie's new GUI um, and I need to um, continue that. Um, get started on the fun stuff. Actually putting something together. So um, there is one little maintenance thing I need to do first though. Um, I did notice that um, the builds failed um, in the CI and that will be because I suspect it doesn't have the libraries for the new GUI stuff in place. So I'll just go to the bottom and have a look. It's saying <laughs> okay, in this case <laughs> it's saying that Wales doesn't exist. Of course it doesn't exist. We haven't put it as a package in the build. Um yes. And that will be the same. That'll be the same in all the others as well, because it's not packaged. Um, although it is on Nixos, because I did that. So, um, what shall I do? Well, there's a couple of things. One, I don't actually want to do the Arch Linux one anymore. Um, I'm not using Arch Linux. Um, I use Nixos. I do want to keep the Ubuntu one though, because that is the most widely used and I want to have at least one other um, distro having a build so that I can test that, you know. I'm not doing anything Nixos specific uh, while I'm building this. So I will, I will, let's fix up a couple of things here. So first off, bye bye Arch, oh, just thought, yeah, that does the artifacts there. So I will grab that. I will Grab that and add that to the Ubuntu one, I think, because that's probably safer. With Nixos, um, when you build a binary, it's very specific to the um, the build. It's like um, it's a very um, dependent thing on what you've got. Um, so I will add it here. Okay, hopefully that's correct. One, two, Yammer was a horrid format. Need to make sure everything is spaces. Why on earth they didn't use tabs, I don't know. That would be the sensible solution. Anyway, um, Nixos. So that's okay. We're going to add a package here. So. That's a good point. Why did that? Oh, because I haven't got it in the shell.
think so. Where do I need it? I need it. That's a good point. Don't think. I think I can get away with put it in native build inputs. So we'll do that. I'm just wondering whether these need to be here. I know because they're not needed at runtime. So they could be native. I'll check that out in a minute because I can probably test that locally. I'll do a quick test in a minute. Okay. Um, and that should sort out the next sort of stuff. Arch Linux, we're going to delete. Dunk. Okay. Now for Ubuntu, I'd have to build it. So I think that's docs time. Oh, thank you. All right. I want bleeding edge because we are currently using version two, which is not released yet. Um, so we're going to need to basically do this. But it's going to need it's going to need the libraries as well. So okay, I think probably best bet here is if I've got have I got an Ubuntu thing yet well I've got one there but I don't think I've used it I think I maybe have set it up and that's a 2004 as well That's a bit old. I really want to be doing jammy. Um, it's going to take me too long to download that and get that going just now. Well, I say that. What I can do um, is what I'll do is. Do, do, do. We will do 
quick gap. Open two, and then it will give me uh, okay. This version of quick gets a little bit old at the moment. I haven't updated my channel for a while. Um, daily live, daily canary. I'll try, I'll just carry on. I'll try 2004 just as a quick way of um, getting this working. Just to make sure I get the right libraries and stuff. Oh, that's small. Okay. Come on, do your thing. It's all a bit stretchy. Oh, it's all gone weird. It's not happy. Mm -hmm. I think I broke it. Let me just give it another quick change. Yeah, it's really not happy. Let's kill that. He says. Again. That should have been okay. Yeah, I didn't like that. Okay, can I do something sneaky? 
Can I resize it beforehand? Let's see what happens. Don't even really need to resize it. Uh, let's do Okay. We'll just do that for the moment. We'll come Swear out some of the time. Um, okay, right, what do I want? I want I want a terminal. Um, and I want to pop into that. That's a bit big now. Anyway, uh, we are going to check have we got it. Okay. You can tell I've done this a few times. Okay. Wales dot get. I might reduce that uh, font size a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to have all kinds of things here. So Oh, Go's going to be the wrong version as well. That was going to be the issue, isn't it? I'm gonna, this is a waste of time. Just give me go line. Yeah, that's ancient. Okay. Waste time. Okay, it's not even worth doing there then. I will wait. Uh, I will sort that out another day. Um, because that's not important to do that. I just want the local stuff. So we will instead, we'll pretend that might work one day. We'll leave that there. And we will test this shell thing here. So, what do I want to do? I want if I do next shell here. <laughs> okay. OK, 
Okay. That's fine. Now, what's going to happen here? Oh, I bet we haven't even got make. Have we got make? Yeah. Okay. Make clean. We should have it because uh, it's working on the CI. So let's do make. So that's okay. And then it'll be runtime that it won't have the libraries. Which is fine for the moment because I'm not running it on the CI. So yeah, we're good there. Okay. Um Yeah, that's enough for the moment to try and uh, sort that out. Very long. I probably shouldn't do that, but anyway. Alright, we'll give that a quick whiz and see how that goes. So, while that's doing its thing, we might have to come back to it. But hopefully, it'll do its thing. I haven't got much time, um, but. I can try well I could basically rip out the uh, the current UI and put in some dummy stuff although I haven't actually decided what I'm doing there yet um, how I'm going to build it so let's do okay, we're here to make make clean all make tidy just to be sure Make, make tests, okay, and the GUI doesn't have any tests at the moment, and it has changed me, that's one of the things. We need to change that. So we will call this well We don't have mods on there, do we? Hmm.
do here and we do here. So I need to do something like that, I guess. I wonder if I should actually rename these to what they should be. So that should maybe just be Snippy Pixie. That's Snippy Pixie D and that Snippy Pixie GUI. It'd make a little bit more sense, especially with this uh, module stuff. Maybe I'm doing that wrong. I can change it later, I guess. Okay. So we haven't got a way of running this yet, have we? Other than uh, in here. That's the basic GUI, which is the default at the moment. Um, and what happens is when you enter something here, so um, snippet pixie, query, and you hit greet, it says, hello, snippet pixie GUI, it's showtime. But that text um, is actually coming from a Go backend to this HTML and JS front end. Um, and so what we are able to do is create a whole UI in a kind of SPA format, um, single page application format. And it communicates with the Go backend, um, which then has access to way more um, infrastructure, such as calling the DBus um, service where the snippet pixie daemon is going to be running, uh, which actually handles all the um, managing the snippets and all that kind of stuff. So we have this GUI to talk to the daemon that does all the actual work. Um, so we've already got um, a CLI application, which can kind of does the same. It's um, you give it a command, it talks to the daemon um, to do anything like add a snippet and get a snippet and do settings and things like that. And then here we're going to do the same uh, but so we're going to have to do something like um, so in the existing snippet pixie um, it's, it's really getting mucked up by my um, resolution because I've changed things up a bit but you can see it's not really working very well at the moment on this GTK app um, and I need to sort this out, um, but these all these things are too small, um, so I need to go fix some settings. Um, but the basic thing here is that 
you have a list of snippets and um, you can see them by the abbreviation um, and then you can just update the abbreviation or the body and or remove it and that's it really otherwise you can obviously search for them so i could search for sp and i get a list of uh, things with sp in them um, and that might be if i do snippet this none of these have snippet in the abbreviation but they do in the body somewhere um, so that's why you can see that there whereas in other cases you might have sp doesn't exist in the body but it does in the abbreviation so the search does both abbreviation and body um, so we also have the settings. So at the moment, I have this auto start at login setting. Um, not sure whether I'm going to carry that across to the GUI or not. I think I might. I haven't done that on the CLI yet either. The new one. But we'll see. And then the auto expand. Well, in the last few sessions before this last before last one um we were trying to get the auto expand to initialize and start up and having lots of problems with the go debus stuff um so whether that even makes it into version 2 of snippet pixie at the moment is up in the air i want it but i have to find a way of getting it working um, and then we have uh, this stuff, which is definitely going to be needed one way or another. Um, and that's the shortcut. So you can see here it's disabled. So in theory, what you can do is you can click in here um, and you can add a new accelerator. So I could add, uh, well, I could add, say, super tick um, and that means in theory it's written out to the um, gnome settings um, a shortcut um, that means hey go run this uh, search and paste which you'll see in a second um, whenever I hit super back tick but on my OS here, it doesn't work um, for various reasons because I'm not using GNOME. I'm using i3 Window Manager um, and I'm not using the desktop environment um, on top of that. So I have a very stripped down setup, um, which is great for testing things like this. Um, and then uh, in the search and paste, um there is an ability to say um if you have text selected when you do give me the search and paste window it will use that as the initial search for a snippet um and that's not going to work particularly well at the moment either because of the atspi stuff that i couldn't get working in the previous few sessions um, and then we have focus search and box, which is an easy one. That's, yeah, you know, when it comes up the search and paste window, do we focus the search or not? Or do we have the list of snippets, uh, which I'll show you now, I guess. So if I close off snippet pixel itself, if I do um, that command back tick, it doesn't do anything um, because it's just not, not going to work here. Um, and I do have that set up as a shortcut in my i3 config, but it's for a version of Snippet Pixie that doesn't exist on here. Um, but if I do the control backtick, which is the default usually, I get a window here. And again, this is all a bit mucked up at the moment on here because of I've mucked up my resolution settings for GTK apps. 
Um, but as you can see, it's like it's in the search box by default here, and I can just do SP, um, and then I can either tab in and hit one, two, three, four, five, or just hit return to paste. So if I were to come in here, um, that, and I could do oh, let's do let's do a dep. So I'm going to hit one, and let's put it in there. Um, and that's the um, ways developing blah blah blah, which is going to be used later when I do the video for this, the video file. So the setting stuff is what I'm doing on this UI. I need to rip out all this stuff here and the greet and all this and put in a new UI for managing snippets. Um, and I've got to decide what exactly I want to do here. Do I want to just do the same? Or do I do something different? And do I use like a component toolkit for the Svelte stuff that I'm going to do here? I think I think I will start by doing a very basic list and detail and then progress from there. At least then I'll have a component for listing abbreviations. Um, and a component with maybe subcomponents for editing a snippet. Now, before we get going, how did the builds go? Okay. There's no Ubuntu one there. Why? At least that passed. Okay, so we've just fixed that, so that'll be okay. The build worked. Good, but why is there no Ubuntu? What did I do? Ah. I suspect that's wrong there, look.
bet if I look at the old Arch Linux one. It's top level artifacts. God, my tongue's going nuts. Okay, so that was an easy a little mistake there, so put that back there. Maybe I should move that up. It's more obvious and then you just have the tasks. Although I kind of like having having that finishing off. Yeah, I'll leave that. Uh, so, okay. Just quickly wall of that off. We have fix soup into Oops. Fix open to CD. The old spec set proper GUI module. Not getting a lot done today. Wow. I suppose this is getting stuff done. But I didn't get to the gooey stuff. And I'm probably not going to get much done now. Let's do something here though. Um, so. We'll get started. Um, all this stuff here is going to go. Um, I don't need any of that. So, yeah. I don't think we need any of that just now. So we're going to have an empty. Don't need any of those styles. Don't need a logo at the moment. Let's take it all out. Let's do bare bones. Script. Don't need any of that. Bye bye, script. Global CSS. Okay. Well, probably and probably best to get rid of all that as well. If I take it all out. I can start from basics.
uh, main. That should be okay. All we're doing there is starting the app from app.svelte. This I have no idea yet. Hopefully that's rebuilt. Don't know what it is. Okay, index. Uh, we don't have a favicon yet. Do have source. We do want that. Title is okay. And recording source main, okay. Which we've got there. That's all OK at the moment. Assets. Images. We don't need that anymore. It's nice it is. It's going. Um, and fonts. Hmm. I think... For the moment, I'm gonna. What's that? Okay. I think we're gonna get rid of that for the moment. I can always put a front back in. Bye bye fonts, bye bye images. So that assets dying might actually go away in a minute. Then we've got public. Oh, we do have a fabric on. What is going on? Ledge to mail then. Why is it? Ah, oh, because it's here. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just complain. What is the favicon though? Can I see it? What's the spell one? Okay, we'll leave that for the moment. It doesn't make any real difference because uh, it's not really going to be used. Yet. Uh, so node modules, dist is where everything ends up. It'd be interesting to see whether that gets cleared out in a minute. Not quite sure whether Wales does that or not. We'll find out. Okay, I think, apart from that, which is all one-time stuff, I don't want to touch. Uh, scripts could remove, but I'm not going to just yet. Okay, so now in the go stuff for main. Hmm. That's interesting. Might get rid of some of this stuff later if we don't use it. We could, in theory, remove a bunch of this stuff because I'm not targeting Windows or Mac. But I guess it doesn't harm at the moment to be there. I can even leave that so I know it's rubbish that I can change later. It's all stuff that I don't need. And then uh, app. So this is where we have the actual code. Uh, 
This is the actual function that was called by front end and we no longer need. So we have an app construct, sorry, struct, a new app returns one of them. Startup as a context. So when the DOM's ready, we'll get this called. That might be useful. Uh, before close might be useful as well. So we'll keep that and obviously shut down as well. These are all things that we might want for sort of a bit of cleanup. So that's okay, we'll keep that. Um, but this can go. Don't need that at the moment. So I believe we're now going to get a very light app. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Literally a light app. Just says hello world. Okay. Not the most useful app in the world, but we're back to basics there. That's what we got. Tell you what, let's nick uh, in my CSS my site do that. I wonder if that's even going to work, actually. Hmm, it might. Let's try. We'll copy that. Add CSS to the pickup there. Didn't work. So let's give that a quick go. See what we get now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, a little bit nicer. <laughs> or at least it fits in with my my setup. But um, 
yeah, not going to be right for everyone. But for me, while I'm developing this, it's a good start. So, cool. All right, well, I've got to go. Um, so I'll just... Um, I'll just save this off. Strip out default fails app. Uh, I don't know, let's say, um, just say, so, just say, so. okay. Right, that's me, gotta go. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, until next time, take care.